We've arrived here in Hamilton, Missouri. Christina and I, who's actually behind the camera right now, are just getting ready to start our quilt retreat adventure. Come on and join us as we head on into town. Welcome to Watch and Learn. Today, we are going to let you venture into Kim and Christina's guide to a retreat. Mm -hmm. So I'm Christina Whitney, and we've got Kim Sandberg. We're studio educators here at Handy Quilter. And we got to go on a special little trip. We did. You want to tell us we about did. that, Kim? Yes. So uh, November of 2021, Christina and I got to go to a quilting retreat. And this was definitely a bucket list for both of us. Now, little caveat, a little different than what most people do. We were actually invited to teach, but we thought it would be fun to talk about some of the fun experiences we had, um, some of the tips we definitely learned, and just... Uh, kind of our tips of how to do a quilting retreat because I know for me this wasn't the first quilting retreat I'd been to but it was your first right? It was my first like real quilting retreat and I, I don't know that I can ever go to another one and oh. top this one. It yeah. was just that good. It was amazing. It so. was really amazing. Yeah. So let's jump in and start showing our pictures. So we Thanks. took we took pictures the whole way. We filmed a bunch of uh, just stuff of us having fun and enjoying it. And so we just want to, we just want to kind of share because this is definitely something actually we get questions about what is it like to do a retreat? Yep. So let's jump in. So we first started out by meeting up at the airport. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's always a good sign. And we flew out to Missouri. Yes, we did. And Kim is finding some fun pictures here that we're going to share. Now this event that we did, this retreat, was actually involving the handy quilter truck. Mm -hmm. So we've got trucks that travel around the country that have 12 machines on each one. We also have vans that have six machines. And they go to different retailers and um, usually it's our field educators that teach at these events, but this was kind of a special one. So Kim and I got to go and teach at this one. And you'll notice the, the big guy on the picture with the blue face mask, that is Casey. He is one of our truck drivers and he really rubbed it in that he got to sit first class and we didn't. Yeah. Fun. I was going to say, I think we got a free Diet Coke and a uh, pack of peanuts. <laughs> oh, and don't forget the hand sanitizer pack oh, yes. when you got on the that's plane. Right. Yes. That's right. That's <laughs> right. Those were our special things. So, okay. so we flew out to Missouri and then picked up our rental car. We got to do a little bit of sightseeing while we were there and eat out and just be goofballs, which we're really, really good at. So, so let's see, Kim's got a picture here. We're at some little restaurant in the middle of nowhere. I don't even know how we found that place. And yeah. Siri took us there. It was a little bit of a drive from the, <laughs> so, so there was a picture that uh, Christina snapped with all of the uh, local, you can see the local flavor. It was a great, it was a great little restaurant. So next we have, we actually stopped in Liberty, Missouri, and we found some fun, uh, like street art, didn't we? Yes. Oh, this was so much fun. This is right across the street from Quilting is My Therapy. Mm -hmm. And they were closed that day. So we were a little bit bummed that we didn't mm -hmm. get to see them that day. But as we drove down, we saw that on the side of the wall and we had to stop and get some pictures. So do you have any butterfly pictures of me? I think I do. Here's, here's a couple of pictures of us in front of Quilting is My Therapy. Then oh, we there had, a lot. there's Christina. <laughs> <laughs> so they had little wings and they had big wings. <laughs> And we, of course, got plenty of pictures of both. Actually, this was my favorite one, Christina doing one of her <laughs> awesome poses. <laughs> that seemed to be the theme for this trip. Yes, it my, did, definitely. Pose. Well, then we pulled into town, and of course, we had to take a picture in front of, you know, the banners. <laughs> yes, so we actually were teaching at Missouri Star Quilt Company, mm -hmm. and it's in Hamilton, Missouri. Yeah fabulous little town. All of the shops are quilting shops. And I'm sure everybody knows about Jenny Doan. She's mm -hmm. famous. And I don't even know where that picture was at, but um, apparently there's a picture of me. Well, she oh, had a video. She had a fun, let's, let's watch this little video and see okay. what nuggets of advice Christina had to give here. We made it. We are at the long arm sewing retreat. Look, retreat, long arm retreat. 
So excited. Now if we can get them to open the door and let us in. Yay. Then we have Christina. We, we took a little video of some, some tips of what to bring and what not to bring. You can see Christina's got all of her stuff that she's schlepping herself. So we'll watch this little video. Go. Okay. I've got a little bit too much luggage here, but I'm going to the retreat. You need to have everything. You've got to be prepared. Snacks, food, clothes. Oh, and quilts and stuff. <laughs> you, you'll also notice here that I've got a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Most of this stuff was for teaching purposes. Mm -hmm. And I did learn a lot at this retreat about what to take and what not to take. Mm -hmm. And we're going to kind of dive into that and show some fun things that people had at the retreats in a little bit. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, let's jump in here and let's take a look at... So, okay. So next we have some fun short videos of teaching. It seemed like I was always the one filming and Christina was teaching. I want you to know that we both did actually... <laughs> teach at this retreat. Hey, it's first thing in the morning. We're just getting ready for classes. You want to see the glamorous side of teaching? Christina and I are flipping on all of the machines. Got to make sure those gears aren't engaged, right, Christina? Because it's not going to be fun doing feathers with gears engaged. It's not at all. <laughs> if the bob intention is already set, what is the only thing you need to be adjusting if your tension needs to be adjusted? Top tension. The tension dial precision mode. It is, what I like to say, it's like a person that's out jogging. They're jogging along and they come to the stop sign and they stop. And maybe they're like mid-cycle, but they're stopped. Same with your machine. We had such a great group mm -hmm. of people. Oh my goodness, they were so much fun to work with. Then we got to go shopping. <laughs> Priorities, you know. I know, I know. Luckily, we finished class up with enough time every day that we had about an hour at the end of each day. So one thing we learned that's important to take um, to a retreat is to always have uh, plenty of money to spend <laughs> and take the pattern with you that you're looking for fabric because there's lots of fabric. Um, so I had a pleasant little surprise while we were there. Do you remember this? Yes. Oh yeah, tell us about it. So I actually have a pattern that is published in one of the mod blocks and I found the issue of it there. So you guys will have to forgive me, but there's a few pictures here of me showing it off. Um, we also found some fun other little things in the shop. This was, this reminded us of Josh and marketing. He loves all things Star Wars. We had to send a picture to him. And once again, my book. So, so let's talk about some of the, the different facilities that they mm -hmm. had there. Okay. So that one video was us going into the retreat center and mm -hmm. that is where we slept. Mm -hmm. And so we've got some pictures of the room that we stayed in. <laughs> maybe, <not> that <laughs> <laughs> maybe those are, maybe that's a better one right there. <laughs> so Kim and I had that room and there were, I think 10 different rooms mm -hmm. that people stayed in. It was yeah. upstairs. In the, the downstairs, they had a full kitchen, and that's where we ate. So there's the kitchen. And then it also has the sewing area, and every person had their own station. And then there's the cutting stations and ironing stations. But the machines would just stay set up, and they had extra machines there for us. And um, people would just work on their projects 24 7. yeah like people would be there in the middle of the night still sewing I, uh -huh. i'm like i need my sleep i know I to teach in the morning um but yeah lots and lots of fun to be had there um we actually taught in a different building though mm -hmm. it was mm -hmm. the education center so it was just right across the street mm -hmm. so we were able to just walk over there take our stuff mm -hmm. and that's where we had all of the long arm machines set up mm -hmm. and that's where we would teach um, each of our classes so those classes were during the daytime. Uh -huh. And then again, we got to shop for about an hour before mm -hmm. the stores closed. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the time we just ate and sewed and ate some more and just hung out with people. And we learned some great stuff. We did. So Kim, you want to share a video yeah. of our first experience there in the retreat center? Yeah, I, I have. So Kim. Yes. Tell me what was your or everybody's reaction to you when we walked in. <laughs> well, apparently I'm one of the big dogs and I'm here. 
And I'm the kind other big of, dog. I mean, we're kind of a big deal, aren't we? <laughs> we're the biggest dorks. <laughs> <laughs> Only town in the world where we can walk down the street and people will be like, hey, I know who you are. And it helps when you wear a handy quilt or attire. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> now, the first, the first night we were there, Christina noticed a phenomenon. And here is a picture of the phenomenon. <laughs> Everybody had fun slippers or they just went barefoot. Uh -huh. So I have decided from now on mm -hmm. that I have to have a cool pair of slippers whenever oh, yeah. I go to a retreat. I totally agree. I left my cool slippers at home and it was like, darn. I did have my bunny slippers with mm -hmm. me and we might see those in a future video. Mm -hmm. well, actually, let's, let's talk about that video real quick. Mm -hmm. So you saw me lugging in all of that luggage. Yes. Lugging luggage. <laughs> Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, but they didn't have an elevator. <gasps> yeah. But they let's did find that have video. this fun little hallway with a chairlift. And so we were able to just stick our luggage on the chairlift and let it go up. And then we had a little fun playing with it. We did. We had a little too much fun playing with it. We'll, we'll insert oh this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Can you see my bunnies? Mm -hmm. I, and then we decided that the chairlift could be used for more than just our personal entertainment. We can knit while on the chairlift. Our maturity level dropped quite a bit while we were there. <laughs> it's kind of like being away at summer camp. It was pretty fun. We actually had one night that we uh, were laughing so hard in our room that the gals next door the next morning commented that they thought we were crying. And we were because we were laughing so hard. Just about silly. I don't know. I don't even remember. Actually, I do remember what we were talking about. We're not going to talk about that here, though. <laughs> but this is a great picture of this. You can see there in the background, the sewing center and walking across the street to go teach. Uh, they had these handy little wagons there that we were able to use to haul stuff back and forth, which was fantastic for us. We absolutely love that. That was quite a fun little thing. And we would walk past the truck every day. How do you guys like the truck park there? I actually have a bunch more um, pictures of that later. We, uh, we had a lot of fun uh, teaching. Here's another good picture of Christina doing some teaching and a little video here. Good distance is a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch. So I need to always have my ruler lined up a quarter of an inch from where I am trying to stitch. So you guys are all quilters, right? Except for Casey. Casey, can you eyeball a quarter of an inch yet? Absolutely. Hey, we can all eyeball a quarter of an inch. If you can't, I'm gonna show you a little way to cheat. On this particular ruler, see these bumpers that we have here? They have- One evening, we went to the museum and we saw some really fun stuff. First of all, the world's largest spool of thread. Who knew? Fantastic. Yeah. They, and they have a little sign there that actually asks you to add to it. Luckily, we had a little bit of fuzz on our clothes, so we, I stuck a little piece on there. Um, then uh, going into the museum, here's Christina talking about one of the rooms. It's actually in an old school house, and each of the classrooms is set up with different exhibits. So Christina is going to talk a little bit here about the miniatures, the miniature quilts, which were bunkers were they? Oh, oh my goodness. gosh i think they said that the smallest pieces in one of them was one sixteenth yeah. of an inch which uh, yeah blows my mind we're at the missouri quilt museum here in hamilton missouri taking a little break from teaching and we are so excited look at this room how would goldilocks pick a bed to stay in this is the miniatures room and I haven't even counted to see how many of these tiny, tiny quilts there are. And to give you kind of a perspective, I'm going to put my hand next to this one. 
and you can see how tiny that quilt is. Look at this one. It's even got matching pillows. Oh, those pieces are just this minuscule. Fabulous. Wow. So we're seeing all sorts of fun things, getting ideas, maybe a little motivation. I don't know if I could ever pull myself to do this, but this is fabulous. Look at the pieces in that Lone Star. It's amazing. Amazing. And it's one lady that makes all mm -hmm. of these. Mm -hmm. And those are literally all pieced. Mm -hmm. It's not printed fabric. Mm -mm. Little, mm -mm. little, tiny, tiny pieces. Yep. And all the little beds too. It's pretty, pretty amazing. They're all done by Pat Coons of Lincoln, Nebraska, as you can see there. Smallest piece, 1 16th of an inch. So this, the museum had some absolutely amazing examples of quilting. This one is a picture that I took. This is hand quilted. Look at that. Just amazing. That's hand quilting. Like that's something that, that uh, doing even on, the on a long arm would be a bit of a challenge. Um, this is another one that is a, a great signature quilt. Look at this. They had a lot of antique quilts in there. And then uh, that one's, that's actually, it was fun to see a quilt. This is a um, Pascalia, it's all English paper piece that is definitely on my bucket list. I think I have half of one of these spokes done, <laughs> these little wheels. <laughs> fun to see. There's some really great, really great quilts there. Well, that evening, after we came back from the museum, we decided to conduct a little bit of a, a survey of the room. And so we went around and asked everybody what their favorite tool was that they brought with them to the retreat. Now, this right here was, we thought, an absolute winner. <laughs> it's the Tower of Power. <laughs> These are fantastic. So if you are going to retreat, taking a essentially a power strip that you could share with a lot of people is really great because think of it, you gotta plug in your machine, your iron, your light, your other iron, your phone charger, your phone charger <laughs> lots of stuff. Your iPad charger, we had lots of people there with their iPads, they sit and watch movies while they were quilting in a room full of people. I loved it, it was fantastic. <laughs> Um, here's another phenomenon that we definitely notice: the mini iron. Look at all the variations of the mini iron. There's another one. You guys, these are each different separate ones. There were also quite a few featherweights there, which were fun to see. I really like to see another... how everybody packed all of this stuff yeah. and their different carrying mm -hmm. um, suitcases and things. I don't think we took pictures of that. We should have, huh? Yeah. Darn. Uh, there's a little light with a mini iron in the background, as you can see. Um, another light. That was one that one gal that I asked, uh, she said that that was her favorite thing that she brought. Here is another favorite thing that another retreater loved was this case that holds everything. It's actually 12 inches square, so it has enough room to put blocks in it. You can see she has all those things there. And I remember she actually got a lot of that piece while she was there. Do you remember that? The Green Bay Packers uh -huh. quilt? Um, next we have, oh, this was a really fancy featherweight that's white. Oh. I liked it. I so it stay really on cool. that picture for a yeah. second. If you look in the background, you'll notice that all of the walls mm -hmm. were, um, flannel. Yeah. Gritted. So people were putting all of their projects on there. So yes. you could see how each person was progressing mm -hmm. over the time. And it was really fun to watch. It really was. Yeah. Then uh, one of the gals mentioned that she was really glad that she brought her own mug for her coffee and tea. So that's a suggestion. If you're going, be sure to bring your own cup or mug. Take that with you. you stay um, hydrated. I know, stay hydrated. There, the Seam Ripper was another retreater's favorite tool. Um, this one right here, which was awesome for me to see because I have one of these too. Do you know what this is, Christina? Is it the porcupine quill yes. thing, your stiletto? Or? Yes, it is. It's a porcupine quill that you use as a stiletto. I actually had a friend that gave that to me a few years ago, and it is awesome because it's flexible. 
Um, but be careful, like I know on mine, one end is really sharp. You'll notice there that she actually has a little something there on the end of it. So she doesn't poke herself with the really sharp end. But yeah, I thought that was fun to see. Um, a spray oh, bottle. Oh yes, this is a must have. A must have, definitely. So just a, a mister, mm -hmm. not, not just spraying, yep. but misting. A mister, yep. Yes. Um, we saw a lot of these at the retreat also. These are the little table toppers that you're, um, you can keep all your things in just right there handy. We need to come up with a pattern and how to make one on the long arm. Ooh, good challenge. Christina, you get right on that. Okay. Figure out how to do it all on the long arm. I'll do that. <laughs> Another mini iron. And on this one, you'll notice the wool pressing mat. We saw a few of these too. That's yeah. a nice something to take along. Um, this is a really cool pin cushion that one of one of the gals brought that she really liked. It's shaped like a bone. Then we have another one of these awesome uh, sewing mats. She had a couple of pictures of that one. Another sewing mat. And then uh, one gal had this little case that holds everything. And it, she actually showed me how this like collapses. I don't think I got a picture of that. But that way it fit easily in her suitcase and you can see that she's got all of her tools here. She's got her scissors, her uh, rotary cutters, her marking tools, pattern pieces, all that good stuff. And then this was my favorite picture. You guys notice this little mini iron here. It has a little smiley face on it. And look at the smiley face I got a picture of right oh. behind it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? How they're both <laughs> pointing the same direction. That was my uh, entry into photography contest right there. I thought I thought that was quite fun. But I'm this... glad that my workstation was covered because I just had like little plastic bags of pieces. <laughs> I didn't have all these fun things with me. That's okay. I didn't have room in my suitcase. I know, me either. But this iron is the tiniest iron I've seen. Um, yeah, it was it was really great. So I think that's all of the fun things that people brought. Oh, one other thing, a rotating cutting mat. Yes, Oh, I love those. So nice for trimming pieces, isn't it? So that was the final. And I think that one has the cutting ruler on it. Mm -hmm. it was, I can't remember what it was oh, called, the yeah. block lock Yep, something. the block lock. Mm -hmm. And it has a ridge down the middle, so mm -hmm. it butts right up to that middle seam. So it, you know that it's always right mm -hmm. on. Right where so it should I want to get one of those. All right. So we'll, that's, we'll, that's on my list. We'll cue in on that one. Uh, a few other fun pictures. Should we show these two? Sure. So remember I was talking about the truck drivers and um, how awesome they, they are. <laughs> they're our superheroes. They take care of everything with these machines. And Casey actually stayed at this retreat, which he normally did. they don't. But yep. anytime there was... Um, any kind of an issue or we just needed some extra mm -hmm. help, he was there to jump in and help out. And somebody happened to snap this picture. Yeah. And the day after they, or before they even took this picture, I was saying how the trucks are gonna be changing and we need to put pictures of all of the truck drivers as superheroes <laughs> on the side of the new trucks. And then some one of the ladies um, sent me this picture and I thought, oh my goodness, this is perfect. It is. So this is what I want to put on the side of the new trucks. <laughs> Casey as our Superman. <laughs> so, yes, again, my maturity level dropped quite a bit during the retreat. <laughs> Christina's obviously got mad skills with photo editing. So <laughs> just so you guys know, that's like her side gig. She, she does this kind of a thing. We had a lot of fun with Casey, though, and we definitely could not have had as successful of an event as we did without him. Um, we've got some other fun videos here of just having fun at the retreat. So this is a fun one. This one's a fun one. Kim, they have a new name. Oh. <laughs> we had fun teaching some of our uh, traditional quilting designs that got some new names. Yes. So we want to say thanks to the two sisters that helped us out with that. <laughs> That was quite fun. Uh, one of the classes that we taught while we were there was how to use a quilting committee. And we have a couple of fun pictures of this. Um, Christina actually has a quilt up there that is one of her customer quilts. And she is going to, you can see that she's got some clear um, preview paper over the top of that. And we actually spent a few hours going through different quilts yep. and auditioning design, showing people how to do that. And we had our four quilts here, 
that are all the same but quilted differently. And sorry, the picture's taken from far enough away, you can't really see the detail on that, but. And um, we asked all of the students to bring quilt tops with mm -hmm. them if they wanted us to show them some ideas on how to quilt it. So we, we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, we put a shower curtain over the top of them so that mm -hmm. I wouldn't draw on them because I get into the mode and I start designing and I'm off the preview paper. Oops. So we, we really enjoyed that. But we did lots and lots of different quilts for all of those people, just helping them brainstorm ideas mm -hmm. of how to quilt that quilt. And so haven't seen any pictures of their finished quilts, but no. I would love to. So if yeah. you're watching, send sure them in. Post them. We also did during the retreat, this was probably one of the most fun things that we did. We did a show and tell. So check this out. Here's, here's a little show and tell of quilts that people brought that they were showing that they had finished. So there's another one, fun 4th of July quilt. This one, two color. And, and this gal, I remember she had just started quilting. This is like one of her very first quilts she'd ever made. Oh yeah, she was so much fun. She was. And I'm, I'm gonna kind of go out there and she was really hesitant to be mm -hmm. in this retreat. Mm -hmm. um, she doesn't have a long arm or didn't have a yeah. long arm and was very nervous. But once she got in there, oh mm -hmm. my goodness, her creativity. Mm, amazing. It, it was so much fun to watch her, you know, start at the very beginning mm -hmm. and just progress. Yep. So it, it was a great experience. Definitely. There's another one of her quilts. And one more of hers. So she's actually quite prolific for being a brand new quilter, which was fun to see. And she makes a lot of quilts for people that are coming out of jail. Mm -hmm. Yep. And donates those. Yeah. Uh, here's a fun Christmas quilt. Another, a fun clamshell quilt. I remember she was actually sewing this one while we were there. It was fun to show off what people had been working on. Really fun uh, trip around the world. Oh, oh, no. like a variation of a trip around the world. The graph, the graphic quality of this quilt is really fun. Now here's here's one that's from this gentleman's actually from Canada, and he had a lot of fun quilts that he brought. We've got quite a few from him here. Apparently, I took pictures of him like flipping the quilts around. Of course, he brought his little O Canada. <laughs> Very fun. Wait, this quilt mm -hmm. has been inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. So I decided to make this quilt but in blue and white. I love it. So I've got all of my blocks cut out. I just need to sew them all together now. Oh, that's so great. It's fun to go and see what other people are working on. Okay, so this gentleman does handwork too. So this is all cross stitch and it just amazing. Um, it was kind of fun to see some of the other talents that people have too that they showed off. Um, another quilt that he brought, this was one that we actually did a little bit of the uh, um, how do you quilt that while we were doing the show and tell? Because we ran out of time earlier that day in the class. And I do want to point out that he did drive. So mm -hmm. he had plenty of room mm -hmm. to put all of these. <laughs> he did. People he that did. flew couldn't bring quite as much. Yep, so. yep, yep. Here's another one that he did. There's one that, oh, this gal, she was sitting over by us too. Do you remember she sewed this one during the retreat with that fun wreath on it? Here's another fun quilt. Love the colors. I know. Lots of fun. Um, that black just really adds some drama there. Nice blue and white one. This is Christina. All has Christina written all over it. It's not her quilt, <laughs> but she loves those blue and white quilts. Here's a really fun one that um, actually this is this was made by one of the gals who was hosting the retreat. One of the retreat um, coordinators. coordinators, Jessica. Very fun. She put together just a bunch of orphan blocks. And there was the back of it. I love this back. So fun. Um, and then, oh, one more by our Canadian gentleman. Actually, I think that was um, Jessica's. Oh, was it Jessica's? Oh, that's right. That was, yeah. So It was just so big that we needed somebody to hold right. it up. That's right. And he was right there. So really fun. Don't be afraid to take stuff to show uh, everybody what you've done. These are your people. They're excited to see what you've done. They love the inspiration. I mean... Who knows? Take that quilt and show it. You never know when you're going to give inspiration to a fellow quilter. So be yep. sure and take that quilt. Um, we, of course, ended with a big group picture of everybody. 
You can see here in front of the truck, this is our whole group. It was so much fun to get everyone together. And you guys will notice, actually, if I zoom in a little bit here, there's Christina, <laughs> larger than life, right in that, right on that truck. So it was a really awesome experience. Um, we stopped and visited, um, quilting is my therapy again on the way back. We... I, I want to kind of jump back okay, just real it. quickly. Yeah. One night we had a special guest visitor. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that she's really a visitor because this is her place yeah. and we were the visitors. <laughs> but Jenny Doan came to see everybody and we got to talk to her and learn from her. And what an amazing lady. Mm -hmm. it was, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Very, very down to earth, welcoming, just Funny, funny, funny. Yep. So yep. We, we had a lot of fun with her. We definitely did. And then we made one more stop. We stopped at Quilting is My Therapy again mm -hmm. on the way back, and it was open, and we got to meet Angela Walters, we, who was kind enough to take us over to her retreat center, and she actually took us in. This is a picture of us in her filming studio. Yes. We both fangirled just a little bit, didn't we? <laughs> But you know, Angela, yeah. I, I've met her a few times yeah. and she is just such a nice person. Yep, absolutely. And absolutely. A real person. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. We loved she was in the middle of packing up and shipping out things. We helped bag some stuff <laughs> up and to get it sent yep. out for them. Chatted about our kids, yeah. life. So. It, was, it was great. Yeah. It was really great. So the retreat was awesome. We definitely ended on a high note. Look at this beautiful picture as we were driving to the airport of the sunset. Um, we climbed on a plane and we came home. It was yeah. so much fun. So Christina, what, what do you think would be the overall arching few tips that we can just give everybody? If you've never been to a quilting retreat, what should we tell them? Um, don't be overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to show off. Mm -hmm. If you have fun stuff that you've been working on, yeah. don't be afraid to learn from other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the quilting community is so open mm -hmm. and people are there to give advice, to take advice. So give and take a little bit. Um, pack your slippers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, take some snacks. Yes, for sure. Take for your sure. water bottle. Mm -hmm. yep. And just have that open mindset to have fun. Yep. I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah. My, uh, my biggest tip would be just reiterating, <laughs> don't be afraid to take what you're working on and show it to people. If you're, if you've got a project you're working on and you're stumped on it, take it with you. You can get advice. We had quilters there of every level and it was so awesome to see everyone coming together, sharing, encouraging, um, just having fun. Uh, it was being in a group, being with your tribe. We all have shared the same passion. We all came from very different backgrounds. Even though we didn't really know each other, there was only a few people that actually knew each other before going there. We left there definitely better people from having spent time with each other. It was great. Yeah. And even though we went as teachers, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, we learned so much mm -hmm. from the students and just not even just about quilting, but life. And oh yeah. Having fun and looking for the positives. And Should we mention the uh, belly dancing I lessons we got one night? That. So you never know. Luckily, there's no film of that one. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll never know. Don't be afraid to try a new experience. Quilting retreats are awesome. Yep. So if you have a buddy to go with, go with the buddy. If not, just mm -hmm. go and you're going to mm -hmm. make new friends for life. Absolutely. So lots and lots of fun. I think uh, by the end of the week, when we got on mm -hmm. that plane, the only thing that I said could have made that week better mm -hmm. was if they bumped us to first class. Yeah, definitely. That part didn't happen, definitely. but mm -hmm. it was, it, it couldn't have been any better. No, I totally agree. Fantastic totally agree. week. It so was. I'm so glad that we got to go. Yeah, me too. And I'm so glad that we got to share this experience with you. Thank you for watching and have fun quilting. So Christina, we just wrapped up the amazing retreat here at the sewing center at Missouri Star Quilts. How do you feel? Tired, ecstatic, sad, overjoyed, <laughs> pretty much every emotion in the spectrum right now. Oh, This has been the most amazing week ever. The people that we've met, mm -hmm. seeing the stuff around us, being able to meet Jenny Doan. I mean, the, the people here in Hamilton have been in the world so an amazing experience
Yeah, it really has been. See you later, Hamilton.